Jeff Hansen, Window Warriors Forum. Check us out at windowcleaningwarriors.com. We're going to take a look at the DIY screen cleaner. I built this probably three years ago, and I posted it uh, you know, at a couple different locations, and I've had a lot of requests to see how we built it, um, kind of maybe some parts or whatnot. So um, I will add a link with the parts. Uh, the problem is those links, the information changes a lot, so it might not be active. Uh, but it should have the part name on there. Um, this was a quick, easy build for me. Um, since you know the time I originally built it, three years, the parts have gone up quite a bit, uh, especially uh, especially the brushes. So mine, what I did is I put eight brushes on it. Eight brushes because of the agitation it'll give. Uh, when you buy most now, uh, the two brands that are out there. Um, only give you like four brushes. So eight brushes, double the amount of um, scrubbing power to them. The brushes that I use are similar to, you know, others out there. Uh, it's just a thin, it's like a three inch nylon brush. I bought these in 72 inches, cut them in half. Um, so I have 36 inch, I have eight 36 inch brushes. Stainless steel uh, crimp on it that holds everything together on this. And these will set right inside the track. So you'll see the track. So these tracks here, it's a pretty slick system to where a brush will just slide right inside easy. If it was straight up and down, it'd be even, it'd be a little easier. You can see this brush right here just slides right down. When I slide this right in, there's one brush loaded right there. So you can see the one brush is loaded. There's still one, two, three, four openings on each side here. That's one of the eight are in right there. Um, so 36 inch long brushes. Uh, the tracks are also 36 inches long. And then the aluminum, it's just a U piece of aluminum. Right here, you can see it's just the U shape here. And I just did a thick enough gauge, so um, it's probably, gosh, I would say eighth of an inch, probably quarter of an inch uh, thickness of that uh, steel or aluminum on there. And then at the bottom, just to kind of keep everything, the integrity together, at the bottom here, just two square plates. And these plates are six and a quarter by five and a half. So six and a quarter by five and a half inches. And you can see one plate is here. The other plate simply goes on the back side here. So I have it out right now just so you can see kind of the parts and the guts of the system. Uh, once it's done, once this is in place, that'll keep the integrity of this. It's really loose right now. Once this is on, tightens it all up. So let's go with uh, the inside. So my upright tubes, I went with just a half inch. This is just a half inch tubing. Put a cap on the end. And the water shoots out the top basically. So half inch tubing. And we use the, you can either get them in shark bite or there's other press on type fittings uh, that, are, that are inside here. Those fittings are nice because you don't need to solder. You don't need to um, thread anything. They're very easy to use. It's the push fit fittings. You can see them there. There's two of them. One push fit, another push fit. So that red upright tube just sets inside there and runs upright. And then over here, we'll have just an elbow. My white push fit fitting is just an elbow that's threaded that's threaded into this T section. So this T section comes out to the front and out to the front has just a regular female garden hose fitting. We put a quick connector on it. Uh, we like to have quick connects on everything because then uh, the hose that we bring from the home is just going to, so as soon as you grab the garden hose from the house, 
um, put our other end of the quick fitting on there, quick connect, and it just pushes right in so we're not twisting any connections at any time. It's just, it's just a quicker connection. Um, so we like the quick connection there. Uh, one thing I was going to mention is we have the T connector, the two elbows, and then it goes to the upright here. So I run these all the way up to the top as well. Basically for my jets on these, every two inches, I just drill a small hole every two inches all the way up it. Gives me enough water. You can kind of control the flow of the water by turning the spigot function at the house. Um, if you need it up or lower or whatnot, uh, that works really good. Um, so my total, this totally, the t from top to the ground to the top, sits at 41 inches. Brushes are 36 inches. And then we have, you know, a couple, you know, what was it, five and a half, six inches uh, for this connector piece at the bottom. Uh, my legs, the only thing I'm not that excited about are the legs on this, the feet. They work fine. Um, just two pieces of inch by inch aluminum that are bent. And I mean, it, it's stable. It'll sit there. You put a foot on it while you're, you have a screen that you're cleaning in and out of it. And it, it sits fine. Um, works good. It's slides right inside of our truck. All the brushes are compacted, are, are hidden inside. So when it's loaded into our truck, we don't have to worry about the brushes getting damaged or anything dragging on anything inside the truck or uh, any of our other poles touching the brushes and, and changing them. Uh, the nice thing with these brushes are that they're so easy to use or if they wear out, I've had these eight for six or uh, three years now, there's zero wear on them. It, you know, we'll use this a couple times a week maybe and uh, for screens, uh, we probably average about uh, uh, 30 screens a house like that and doing a couple of houses a day, uh, a couple days a week when we do residential homes and it's just a good system. When I initially invested into this, I probably got into here for 100, and maybe 150. I'm, I'm just guessing it's been a long time, about $150. Now with these brushes, they're a lot more expensive, um, but you don't need eight. You can even go with the four and you're gonna get a good system. But that's a look at my DIY uh, screen cleaner. It's performed well for me, worked for three years. The only reason I tore it apart now is because I originally just had uh, my fittings, my uprights here um, for the water supply. I had them silicone to the side, and now I have uh, three different, um, what are they, crimps? Right. Well, I have three different pieces here that will attach right here. So I'll take these, connects right into here. So this will mount to the inside of there, and then this will keep it pinned to the wall inside just so they don't move. Um, just after three years, silicone just wasn't adhesive enough. Um, with the heat probably made the tube in here a half inch flex a little bit, popped it away. So um, it's better yet now because I replaced the, my, the main connections for what I had before and this is much simpler, works great. Um, I'll put a parts list online with this also um, attached to uh, this video. And if you have any questions, contact me on the forum and we can uh, get you a parts list or direct you in any way that you're you know, looking for direction. Um, happy to help um, if somebody wants to build one of these. Um, screen cleaners, I think they're a great system. For us, it works great. Um, screens can be a battle. They can be tough to clean when you flush them with water and agitate them at the same time. Tap them off afterwards, let them sit next to the house for a while until you're ready to go install everything, get all the other work done. And uh, it's been a great system for us. And uh, I just can't justify paying like six over $600 for the IPC, uh, 350s, or what is it, 380s for the um, Aztec version of a screen cleaner. Um, it's a good price. I would uh, for sure do that, but I was able to get into this for 150 bucks. So that's why I went this route and um, I don't mind building things. That's a look at my DIY screen cleaner. It's out here, Window Warriors Forum.